Sindi kama chozi, sindi kama hicho na inaangalia huko, usi unaona ni machozi inaangalia mungu huko. Wana mwaka tu maji, wakingia kwa chozi, anamwaka tu maji, wana kama maji huko ndaye. Kuna watu ambao wanajisaidi hapo? Eh, ukisikia, hata ya ukijisikia kima umana, unaruka hapo, wama unaketi hivi wewe, unafanya pra, na unaenda. Hapa? Ha, ukitaka. Mchana ama? Kama imekushika na una pesa, hata mchana ukitaka. Kuna watu pengine amekuja amekuambia mkopeshe show asubuhi. Niko na kitambo mm. e, kila mtu na kajina yake. After month anakuja tunaangalia ndeni ndio mm. ananilipa. Sengine nikikosa do situation inanitumanga hapa hivi. Eh juu sengine nakosanga tu pesa unajiambia. Yenye tu iko acha ni kule. Hii itapelekwa tu kwa mtu. Humans are estimated to be about 6,000 years old, and what has been consistent about their existence is the continued need for advancement all through their lives. As we live in the age where humans are in their highest level of advancement, surprisingly what has been most elusive to them is the simplest of technologies that would uphold their dignity and consider them truly advanced. Juu kama ni mitaro kama ni nini kama ni kumwaga serikali ile tutupilia hakuna macho ati unaweza pata ya bure ama ni nicho ni shilingi ta more often than not those living in the slums have been stripped of their basic human dignity due to this hapa kutumia choo lazima uwe uko na shilingi 5 kama sio hivyo ukundie kwa ndoa kama una i'm talking about toilets Open defecation has been the norm of the day for most people living in the slums in modern day Nairobi, Kenya. Yes, you know hata maizi venye ziko mingi. Wengine si wengine wanaenda cho huko. Wao ndani acha. Ana tu sasa ana doa kienda kibarua. Mtu anaenda kibarua ana pesa ya kulipwa. Ana pesa. Si yeye ni akuje ajificha huko ndani ya amalize game akienda kaka kibarua. This river here has become their safe haven. Unknowingly, the toxic flow goes on and on and finally finds itself to their plates once again. This is the story of Simon Maigua or better yet known as the Prince of Fresh Air as commonly referred to by the over 10,000 residents here in Kibagare slums in Nairobi. Kuna wengine wananiita Saimo. Hawa wazee wazee wenye wananijua wenye wenye wa Amerika zetu zangu hao ndio wananiita Saimo. Sasa wageni wageni ndio wananiita kitaame jibiri waambia unatakaje? Sasa wengine mimi naenda kutafuta pesa. Na muuliza hii unaweka hapa utaki kusikia utaame hapa hiyo fresh. Peraka peraka peraka. Kipeleka na kuja na pewa. Hivyo mbona wanapita kitaame? Ndio unaletaka hewa fresh anasikia utamu yani. Ah. Simon Maigua is without a doubt a well recognized man here. Exhausta. Ah. Kitaame ndio huyu. Simon has earned himself a nickname entirely due to his daily errands in this slum. Mtu anataka kusikia utaamini, mtu anataka kukaa mahali fresh, mama wapi ya watoto takataka sitoke, sitoke. Asikia utaamini. Namwambia hii hata ikitoka siku tasikia utaamini. Ana niambia ndio kitaamini. Baraka. <laughs> Wananipendagia wana hapo. Wewe kwa hiyo. Wewe kwa nanja saimo. Ai au oh, inako uja. Uwa wena wera wa kudikero iro. Oh, we are in Moja. Oh, hmm. So now we are in Moja. 
hana kazi sawa hii unajua ulizimwaga usiku na mvua eh hata ndio ile kuja uiona ndio ile pale ile nitapeleka saa 10 na moja mama Joyce jambo mimi nakuletea wageni wangu si wabaya si wabaya wako masomoni wanataka kumulika hiyo dumping yenye unataka kutoa hawana maneno Hawa si wala wa maneno mbaya mbaya. Sasa hizi nitateremusha pole pole kwa gorofa niteremuse. Nikimbize huko 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 kiroiro. Kunaitwa kiroiro. ndomoje <laughs> anachimba chao kwa nyumba kama hapa mm. sasa inamwagika kaka tu hapo yeye ni kuweka maji hata anaweza kuonyesha zingine ziko hapa mm. na zimeangalilisha uchafu kwa mm. ikifika hapo tunapumua kidogo mm. kama kusaidia juu sasa nataka ni haso nipate kaka kitu ya kukula lakini tunasaidiana na wasaidia tu Ndio kuna wengine ni wamebundika miguu wawasiki poa vitu kama hizo na anaendea kwa ndoo ndani sasa itabidi namwambia wewe ndoo yako si unaijua ni accident inakuwa kama dead ndugu sana ununue ndoo iko na kifuni ndoo iko na kifuniko ndio nikuja hapo na kujaga nayo exhausta toka kwa njia ikimwa kwa pale mpaka wote wanatoroka na ni naenda nikiendaga mimi chakaji Sapa. Hapa ndio ile kujaga. Sasa ikisha kuja hapo. Eh? Ni kuinua na kumwa. Hela. Eh, demwara. Hakuna maneno. Wera, wera, wera. Hii maji hii mto imagine ya hapa wota ni wota supplier tao sina pereka bali na pereka ga ina pita hata gekomba ina pita inaenda hata ina eh inaenda kambali sana si inaenda mpaka tao mpaka huko nini mahali watu wana machako si huko sasa huko nilienda nikaona wameweka pipe zingine big zinaka hivi sasa imagine ikikuja ni eh inaenda inaenda mpaka machako si huko na huko inapotelea sijui inaenda mpaka wapi kwanza tunafanya kazi ndio mshahara inatoa sasa hii tiari ni 40 40 ehe uh-huh. utanibebesha ama nibebe haina shida acha nibebe leo <laughs> mimi kama kuna mtu mkuu eh mimi Mimi mm. nafanya peke yangu sitaki mtu wa mkono si unajua nimezoea mm. Mama Joyce yeah. ndo nimepeleka Sasa una, utanilipa nikimaliza kazi ya kuchota maji ama yeah. si Maliza kuchota maji na kulipa saa hii Saa hii Mbona nimalize kazi ya kuchota maji yeah. According to the Kenyan Constitution that is Article 43B every Kenyan has a right to accessible and adequate housing and to reasonable standards of sanitation but this is nothing but a mirage for over 10000 people living in this slum most of the residents living here survive on under half a dollar on a daily basis for this reason they opt to use buckets as their toilets 
it's often difficult for them to juggle between buying food for themselves or their families and paying for the toilet fees. Kama una unaweka ndo na kivuniko yake. Hata watoto nyinyi ni kuharaka tu hapa. Sasa ingine ni mtu ni wanchi mendi ya kona watoto wao hii. Eh pesa mzara ni kidogo. Sasa itabidi anunue ndo kama mbili na kivuniko yake. Watoto hapo ya mama na baba na hili ya watoto. Sasa mimi nikikuja ni nafuniko mzuri na ambio kimbiza. Na ile taka ha he sana. Lakini wajue nikapata kazi mzuri watalia sana na wakinikosa. Si watanikosa tu sawa nitafanya kazi mara mbili. Yeah. Kuna wengine wanakopa. Cho yeah. analipo mwisho wa mwe. Watoto, mama, nini, wote ni credit. Yeah. Ufanya kazi ya kuusha, kuuza show. Yeah. Na kwa hii kijiji tuko na show tano peke yake. Na hizi hizi show tano zinatumiwa na watu kama wangapi hivi? Zinatumika na watu kama 10000. Mhm. Uh -huh. yeah. Mimi naripisha shilingi tano kwa kila mtu. Kuna wale ambao wanakuja hawana pesa za kulipa wakiingia chooni na huwa mnawafanya vipi? Eh kuna wenye wanakuja wanajiongea wana pesa na mm. tunawakubali. Sasa wakati wenye mtu anapata mshahara mchu wa mwezi anakuja anaripa. Mm. Niko na kitambo mm. eh, ya kila mtu na kajina yake. After month anakuja tunaangalia ndeni ndio mm. ananiripa. Kuna watu pengine amekuja amekuambia mkopeshe show asubuhi atakuletea pesa jioni. Sasa hiyo jioni kufika utamuona tena anaenda na anaenda kabisa. Pengine ni mtu ambali umjui. When one is not able to get hold of a bucket or even raise the amount required for the toilet services, this place has been turned into the toilet especially during the night. This is an Sindi kama machozi sindi hicho na inaangalia huko uchi unaona ni machozi naangalia mnguko wanamwaga tu maji akiingia kwa cho anamwaga tu maji wanaweka maji huko ndani kuna watu ambao wanajisaidia hapo ukisikia hata wewe ukijisikia kimamwana unaruka hapo ama unaketi hivi wewe unafanya na unaenda hapa ah ukitaka kama imekushika na huna pesa hata mchana ukitaka Mwenye atapita ni kucheka tu atacheka juu ataona wewe pengine una pesa ya kwenda cho ya kwenda cho. Eh. Si unasikia fanya mnuko iko mingi. Mm, pananukaga hivyo. Eh, si unaona hata hizi ni mavi. Hata mimi ni toe loka hapo. Ah, ukisikia ukisikia wewe kujisaidia unajisaidi. Eh. Yeah. This place is really really smelly and I don't know how probably the neighborhood around are able to live with this smell. And I want to talk to one of them and know how they get to handle this because no one can sleep here, I believe, not even a kid, especially these young ones, really young ones. Let's find out. Shida ku yetu ni cho. Cho ni kidogo na watu ni wengi. Eh hatuna cho za kutosha. Tunaweza omba serikali itusaidie. Watu ongezee cho zingine. Cho zingine hapa ni kama mbili hivi. Na tuko watu wengi kwa kijiji. Watu kama 1000 tuko wengi. All these wastes end up in this river that flows right on the periphery of this slum. What is life they say? And it is obvious that whatever flows in this river is nothing close to it. The same water is used by residents here for various household activities as well as watering the very vegetables they eat. Sasa ile shamba zimeka kumbeka ukiwa jua ni mingi. Inabidi ananunua hii ka kitu ka kana itako ka nini? Aka eh? Eh ka pump aka ka ka kuweka petroli. Na ako na pipe zake mrefu zingine zimeingia huku zingine zinapiga maji huku kwa zinarusha hivi hivi. Watu wana wana mboga na hii maji. Mboga wana nazo. Nayo inabidi mwenye shamba 
akifungu na hizo mamboga lazima aweza aizioza sana angalisha kabisa ndio apata maka maka stop watu wanakula tu labda wapate kodera most might not be oblivious of the kind of poison they ingest a spike of contaminated water infections have been on the rise in the recent past here and has seen a number of free medical camps come in this place upande uonjwa hata hospitali za bure zinakujaga watu wanatibiwa ugonjwa yote bure kukohoa wakikohoa mahosi ya bure zinakujaga sana sana hata kuna hii hapa biogas si umeona kuna hospitali juu kuna saa nyingine wanasemaga pengine madawa zimekaa sana mtu wote anasikia mbaya ku atibiwe bure kama unakohoa kifua kikuu nini vitu kama hiyo watoto ndio wagonjwa nyinyi wote wapi na wewe mwenyewe au ni unachafua mto ukikuja kuweka takataka hapo sio mimi tu ni watu yote hata wa mama kwa mama watu yote kila watu wote ni wapi kwa hii mto mbona mnaweka kwa mto mwezi kama mahali pengine wapi haiwezi wewe kwanza utachimba kwa mtu na ukiweka kwa mtu mnakosana ni vita wanapigana mtu kama hizo ama umwage kwa mtu hii vitu upatue ila 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 vita utawekwa na ukicheza maeno zitaenda mpaka itabidi hata hiyo mwezi mwingine ni kuhama hakuna kugoja unaambiwa unaweza ambukisha watoto tuna watoto wachukua wakule wengine wakule hizo vitu ama ni mbaya inakuwa mbaya Harrison Gatoru too makes his livelihood from this river. Aha. Imi gwagu ni michelin. Hata si kwa pagi hata chupa. Eh. Hata mawe nini nakutanaga nazo kwa mto. Atiweita michelin. Eh. Eh, ili kama fire stone bana. Eh. Ovai kiatu. Ai mimi nzoya. Eh. Eh. Ya sauce jaringi. Eh. Sasa unatafuta chupa hapo ndani. Eh hapa natafuta za plastic natoka kwa kutoka na huku chini ikikuja hivi nikipita kwa hii mito ndio nikitafuta riziki yangu ya kila siku hizi plastic natafuta naenda kupima eh lakini unajua hii mto kuna watu wanaweka alafu ya choo yao ndani eh wanaweka wanatupa mafi huku eh mimi machupa huku eh hata mimi nikipita tu isipokuwa ni Mungu eh nijakuwa nimekatwa eh yo Simon Elias Kitameme have also found his livelihood by what he does but it has come with its hazards too Nikiwa nafanya kazi lazima ni kwanza asubuhi hata sikuzagi kazi ya mtu kama sijaingia kwanza nienda nichome tu mbo na kachangaa nikuta sigara zangu ndio sasa niambiwe chukua hizo ndoo hiyo na hiyo pereka kiruiru sasa hiyo sisikiagi harufu hii kazi hii ya kumwaga mavi uwezi fanya bila kuwa unakunywa kunywa saa yote mhm mm ndio hata harufu hata ikikuja gani hata ukizikongesha pale hata harufu ikiruka usiki usikia mimi sikiagi harufu lakini naisikiaga mimi ni mtu wa kusikia sijagonjeka hivyo lakini bila hiyo hii kazi eh, eh kuna zingine zinakuwa kali zina nuka mko ingine hata unaweza sikia ni kama tumbo itakura kama ukunywa pombe lakini kama unakunywa pombe ah hapo hakuna kazi ndio na kazi imeisha sasa ndio naendaga huko kwangu niko na karumu yangu ya kurara kama hii sasa na ingilia hii hapa nikiingia kwa mm. saa hiyo nimechoka nikimaliza da mpigi zangu mm. na kuja mm. na kuja hapa ndiyo kwa wangu oh. hapa ndiyo mimi naishi si unaona hata sifungagi sana hapa ndiyo mimi nakaaga sasa kitanda yangu ndiyo hii nikioga niingie kama niko na chakula yangu nikule nijirusha wapi mm. na nilale Eh, sasa hapa ndiyo kwangu kwa nyumba. Naona una mishipi mingi sana. Hizi ni juu ya masuruali sasa kujifunga ingine mekatika ninaziundaga nenda kuvaa tu. Mm. Juu hii kazi nataka unaoga unabadilisha unaoga juu ya kurukiwa huku na madamping. Mm. Hizo majibaya mamavi. Mm. Sasa inabidi lazima nioge 
ni badilisha ile rongi kama ilikuwa ina mwaga uchafu nini nini nikuja ni relax to maji yangu ya kukunywa ndio hizi unaiona hapa hii ndio maji yangu ya kukunywa nikisikia nimerewa sana na tingiza kajuisi kora hapa kajuisi kora hii ndio juisi kora naweka kambili alafu na koroga hii nakaa hapa hapo si umeiona eh sasa hapa ndio na hizi nguo zangu zote zingine zimejaa hapo watu wengine walihamu walienda sijui waliziwacha ama watarudia ama nitatupa nichome mm. eh, sasa hapa ndiyo, mi na raraga hapa mali na nyashaka ni hii tu inatoaga maji lakini hii ikitoa maji mimi mfurahia juu inatoa na mwaka kwa nyumba zingine na mwaka mwaka huku hivyo eh si unaona hivyo ili nyesha kama imejaza hiyo juu mm. hii inanyeshagia hapa unaona kwa hii kanini sasa inatokaga inarukia hii picha inaingia kwa hiyo ndoa. Mm. Inakuja na hii muti sasa unajua hii nyumba ilijengwa mbaya. Mm. Sasa hii muti inateremshaga maji ya mvu. Sasa inamogikaga na hii karatasi nikafunga ikakuwa makuwa makidogo. Sasa inakuja inaingia hapa inateremuka inaingia kwa kadoka gani? Hako. Mm. Eh. Awaki kufuli bwana. Ah kufuli hii kitu ile katika. Mm. Hii ndio natafuta ngiri huku tuibanagi mm. ah huku taiba nini hapa ni kwa sio kwa mwindi mm. ah huko hakuna pesa <laughs> this job may not offer him the dignity he deserves but he chooses to go on with it anyway kwanza wakinikosa siku mbili yeah. natafuta gombaka kwa nyumba na watatu yeah. kitami ni nini mbaya yeah. wewe umegonjeka tukupeleka hospitali Naambia bwana nikurilax kiazi hata nataka nioge nikuje ndeni na wakuta <laughs> Open defecation harms human dignity and safety across the continent in India it was so dire that the current prime minister Narendra Modi campaigned with the slogan toilets before temples in the year 2015 the united nations called for an end to open defecation by 2030 it's not impossible to make this great strides Is Kenya making the right strides though and will it as a country achieve the open defecation free status with the situation in the slums this dire? Upande wa serikali inaweza waomba watu hudumie na machoo walete machoo waweke machoo za bure huku wenye wataweza tu watusaidie. Eh hata fadhali watu waendage machoo bure. Wale wako huko juu kama hapa hakunaga chongo hapa kwenda hivi. Hapa hakuna Ah wote wanaishi hapa ni watu wa kumwoga hapa kwa hii muto. Mimi naomba bila hata tu serikali inaweza nisaidie tu na kazi. Eh mm. yote naweza fanya. Eh yote unamaanisha nini? Yote. Anything. Unakuta saa zingine unaoga na ukijimwagilia maji na na uchafu inatoka huku, uchafu ya mapupu. Sasa hata ni kama saa unaweza pata infection ya UTI kama sisi wa mama tukioga hapa tunapata mashida mingi za UTI unapata sasa hizi hatuna choo unapata maybe hauna hata pesa ya kwenda kulipia choo sasa unapata wengine wanakunya kwa makaratasi wanatupa hapa unapata wengine wanakunya kwa mandoa wanaeka hapa watoto ndio hao wanaenda wanashikashika hizo uchafu hizi maji tena hata viongozi yani hawatembei huku na ikifika wakati wa campaign wanakuja wanatu promise vitu zingine hata ziyuko yani tumeachiliwa tu Yaani ni kama tu kuna tu mashida tu huku yani michi tuko tu hivyo naweza nataka kuacha pombe lakini siwezi kuacha juu ile kazi inafanya kumwaga mavi lazima nikunywe pombe juu ya rupumba rupumba ni kazi ya kumwaga hizi mavi ndio imetuma na kunywaga na kunywaga saa nyingine natingika nikikosa pombe juu na beba vitu mzito na mimi ni mrefu na mimi ni mrefu na lazima hizo vitu zikuje mpaka wapi ju uwezi mwagia kwa mtu uwezi mwaga na ni lazima zikuje na mwenye hizo vitu anasikia haibu kubebana na zile vitu watu waone ati amebeba nini mama bibi mama <laughs> sasa inabidi tu andilipe tu e, pereka we wamekuzoea wakuulizaji we pereka pereka ukuja nikulipe sika 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 unataka pombe ama ni hii ama ni hii pesa pesa sengine nikikosa do situation inanitumanga hapa hivi eh juu sengine nakosanga tu hiyo pesa unajiambia yenye tu iko acha nikule 
When a starving man in the slum has to choose between a plate of food and a roll of toilet paper, all it speaks is that we are yet as a human race to hit the desired heights of advancement. Millions have lost lives through the effects of lack of toilets. Close to a billion people in our universe today still defecate outside. A quick fix for provision of safe water, sanitation, waste management and hygienic condition is needed especially in this era of COVID-19 pandemic. For Slam Chronicles, my name is Kevin Phillips Momai.